you mentioned your patient was, was fairly young, and, and Lori, why don't I ask you about uh, genetic testing uh, of this disease, and, and what do you do at your institution? Well, I think that's a great question, and it, that is a critical issue in medullary thyroid carcinoma. Um, as Steve mentioned, about a quarter of patients do have familial medullary thyroid carcinoma related to either MEN2A, MEN2B, or the familial medullary carcinoma, thyroid carcinoma syndrome. Um, and the reason why identifying these patients who harbor the genetic uh, uh, syndrome is critical is, is not just for the treatment of that index patient, but for the identification of the patient's family members and appropriate uh, triage uh, for treatment for those family members. The, um, there are various RET mutations that are associated with the various syndromes. So there are several uh, different uh, mutations in the RET oncogene that are associated with MEN2A, and then there's a slightly different variation of, of mutations associated with MEN2B. There's a, gene, a really very interesting genotype-phenotype correlation um, where um, the MEN2A mutations are associated not just with medullary thyroid carcinoma, um, but also hyperparathyroidism uh, and pheochromocytoma, uh, whereas the MEN2B mutations uh, are associated with MTC, uh, as well as pheochromocytoma, um, as well as an interesting marfanoid body habitus, mucosal neuromas, and Hirsch, Hirschsprungs, uh, let me know if I missed any of them. Um, and uh, um, the, so, so we want to identify um, the patients who have those syndromes and their family members. And the reason that we want to identify their family members is so that we intervene uh, uh, prior to the onset of cancer in the family members. Steve, what do you, what do you tell family members? Well, first, it, it's important to establish whether there is a familial syndrome. And although we would like to think that our family history uh, adequately does that, uh, several studies have identified that probably between 5 and 8 percent of newly diagnosed patients with medullary cancer who have no known family history, in fact, have an inherited mutation in RET. Uh, they may occasionally represent a new mutation that has occurred, uh, but more typically it's a patient where nobody knows the history or it's a relatively indolent mutation in a disease that may not have been recognized within other family members. But this is actually a, a major ethics issue in terms of how far and how aggressively you reach out into a family um, ver as a clinician versus uh, working through the, the patient themselves. Um, we tend to emphasize the responsibility on the, on the patient uh, for introducing the issue to the family. Uh, but there is emerging case law that indicates that there can be a role for reaching around the patient uh, to notify uh, members of the family who are at risk. It's usually not an issue, but there are those isolated cases. But this is a uh, presumably curable disease if identified early enough. And most patients uh, well recognize that, that opportunity and responsibility. And we're going to talk a lot about multidisciplinary teams, but this is one of the times that a genetic counseling group is really terrific. Yeah. They have the ability to reach out and touch other family members, helping the patient know how to do that. There are lots of questions that come up when you talk to a patient about doing genetic testing, insurance questions, and do I need my surgery now? Do I need it later? How do I tell my cousin? How do I tell my son? Uh, a lot of these issues that genetic counselors are just absolutely trained to do that honestly we tend not to do as well. So in the old days, I used to do this genetic testing myself. I thought I was a pretty good counselor, and in fact, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so now we actually use our genetic counseling service. And the nice part is our genetic counselors know other genetic counselors all over the country. So these family members that are spread everywhere, they can, we can make sure they get taken care of locally. And a very important point here is that about 99% of individuals with familial disease will have a detectable mutation in a single gene, the RET gene. So this is really the quintessential genetically driven malignancy. Uh, and it's an absolute requirement that all patients be tested uh, for this because it, it is sufficiently prevalent and we can identify just about everybody who has well, it. And as, as Lori said, if we identify that genetic mutation before that thyroid goes through C-cell hyperplasia and develops medullary cancer, 
we get incredible cure rates by taking out that normal thyroid. It's odd for our surgeons to call up the surgeon and say, hey, I want you to take out what looks like a normal thyroid to prevent cancer years down the but road. But that's a life-saving procedure. It's a life-saving well, procedure. And I, we need to comment on the age at which those thyroidectomies need to happen. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is driven by the exact mutation, and the nice part is you don't have to memorize the mutation. You can just go to Dr. Google, put 918 in there, and it'll pop up. But as a general rule, for the typical familial mutations we're talking about, is to have the thyroid usually taken out before they're four or five years old. And in fact, in that really aggressive MEN2B group Lori was talking about, sometimes taking their thyroids out as early as one year old because they develop early on medzoic cancer. So we're talking about having these kids tested before they're four or five, which as a parent, boy, that's kind of tough. But that's usually the right age group to be talking about the surgery. For, for our audience members that perhaps don't see a lot of these patients, um, let's talk in very practical terms uh, how you order the test and, and, w and what test you get. Yeah, so it's the, 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 I think ideally for most people in that setting that don't see a lot of this disease, the way you order the test is you send them to a genetic counselor. Okay. The genetic counselors know how to order the test and they order the right test. But it's the RET, R-E-T, proto-oncogene. We don't generally sequence the whole thing. There are five or six uh, exons that are the hot spots that pick up most of it. So generally, and you can actually order it through Quest, you can order it through LabCorp, you can order it, so it's commercially available. Mm -hmm. So it's a, as simple as just ordering a blood test for a red oncogene test. The difficult part's interpreting the results and having the discussion right. with the family. And keeping in mind that we're testing for a germline mutation. This isn't a mutation that's in the tumor, this is a mutation in the germline. And you, and you do that in your patient. You do it in the index patient. You don't need to screen the other family members unless you find a mutation in your patient, and then the primary family members need to be screened. That's right. So we screen the, the uh, to, to my mind, every medullary cancer patient should be screened yeah, for this red oncogene absolutely. across the board. If that patient's negative, then you're pretty much done. There are a few rare familial cases that we don't pick up in the red oncogene. They've got just this incredible family history of medullary and the gene is negative despite sequencing, but even for us, those are incredibly uncommon. So if the RET gene is normal in the absence of an overwhelming family history, you're done. That's sporadic. You can give the rest of the family the good news. If that patient is positive, then their first degree relatives would then need to be offered genetic testing. But the, the simplification is, of course, once the mutation has been identified in your proband, you don't need to do the extensive yeah. RET testing. A much less expensive uh, single test for the known mutation is then adequate for the rest of the family. So there's a cost-effective strategy to this. And again, that would be a blood test.